Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. So, let's continue where we left off, and I know a few things that I didn't previously. So, we're going to need food storage. This room down here might be enough, but we could use a bigger one for sure. So, we can deconstruct this wall and make it a little bit bigger this time around. Do we still have any wood? Not much, actually. We'll have to get some. Alright, this should be enough for now. And we'll need to chop some more trees. We are already doing it. Orders and chop wood. Not much wood to be chopped around here. Yep, none down here. Just that one single tree over there. All right, I guess that will have to do. We probably won't finish this until tomorrow. At least I don't think so. Yeah, we won't finish it until tomorrow, which is fine, I suppose. Also, we're going to need a stove. Probably inside one of the bedrooms because I don't want to waste too much time building rooms constantly for every single small thing. So let's have a look. That's in production. We can build an electric stove. That will have to do. Also, we're going to need one more thing over here. Which category was it in? Not furniture. Oh yeah, temperature, right. We need a cooler. Because this is going to be the food storage, basically. That's good enough. Now we wait to actually build that. We'll run maximum speed. Everyone is sleeping at the moment. We are still trying to recruit this guy, which might or might not work. If we end up recruiting him, Having a major infection is probably not a good thing. Yeah, severe illness. Yeah, that's definitely not a good thing. I can change this to a medical bed. I suppose we should. It's not the end of the world if he dies, I guess. He's stressed. I can't imagine why. He's also unconscious. Extreme infection. Yeah, he's probably going to die. What? Oh, right. Just a nickname. Yep, he's probably going to die. He's in extreme pain. <laughs> I mean, it's his own damn fault for attacking us, right? Alright, almost done. Just need to finish the cooler. And actually connect it, right. That's going to be in power. Good enough. Yep, he died. Oh well. Rip. We'll just use it as a medical bed, I suppose. Whatever works. Can we do something with the body? Yes, yeah, spoils in two days. I actually don't know. Can you do anything with the body? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't want it in that bed, that's for sure. Anyway, now we need to lower the temperature. Below zero. Minus 10. That should be fine, I guess. And this will be our food storage. So, stockpile zone. And we need to change assignments. Remove everything except food. And maybe some animal corpses. But I'll need a butcher to actually make use of them. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. So, food. And set it as preferred. Alright, and that's going to be our food storage. 
Speaking of storage, we're going to need bigger storage. And by bigger storage, I mean much, much bigger storage. We could just create a stockpile zone outside for now and build the wall later. I don't see why not. Sure, we can do that. We still need more wood or more steel. That works. Yeah, there's a faster way to do this. A much faster way. Orders and mine. Just mine this out. So, what about that dude? Not sure if we can do anything about him. Can we tell anyone to do anything? Let's have a look. Yeah, consume human corpse. How about now? Cannot bury. Yeah, we don't have any graves. Okay, how do we build them then? I don't remember seeing graves in here. Let's have a look. Well, stockpile zone. Structure, production, no. Furniture, power, security. Oh yeah, we do have a grave over here, alright. Fine then. Somewhere on the side, preferably. Like, over here, that should be okay. I just need someone to actually go and build it. There we go. And now we can bury him, I assume. No? That's strange. Oh yeah, someone is already doing it. Good, good. Wouldn't want him to rot inside the building. That would be kind of bad. There. Should we bury these other dudes as well? Maybe? I guess it's low priority. Oh, they are going to spoil in less than a day. Or rot. Yeah, alright, whatever. They aren't in the middle of our settlement, so I don't care. They attacked us, that's their own damn fault. Okay, what else is happening? Poor mod. Yeah, I would be in poor mod too. Observe the corpse. Oh, witnessed outsider's death in a little pain. Yeah, okay. Innocent prisoner died. How was he innocent? He attacked us. I wouldn't count that as innocent. Like, not even remotely close. He tried to kill us. I guess I have a different definition of innocent. So I suppose we should do something about this. Because they will affect mod. But I don't think I have enough time. They are going to rot in less than a day. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have enough time for that. And we need to take care of other things. So, we need a research bench. Or whatever it's called. Where was that? Production, I think? No? Yeah, simple research bench. I guess it should be inside. Inside some room. Yeah, we'll just have to build one. 300 wood. I'm almost thinking we should be using some steel. To build stuff. There seems to be quite a lot over here. I have no idea how valuable various resources are, but wood seems to be pretty tough to get in this biome. At least there aren't that many trees around here. So I assume that might be a problem in the long run. I mean, one steel wall isn't the end of the world. I guess we can build one. Yep, it's fine. We'll build one. And steel door. Good enough, and we'll need one more room with the research bench or something. Also, steel walls might be a little bit better if we ever get a fire or something like that. I'm just guessing. Well, this room doesn't have to be huge. This will do for now. Alright, and our research bench will be inside. We can rotate it like so. Good enough. And now we wait. 
I wonder how much longer we are going to survive here. How are our potatoes? 26%. Yeah, I think I'll need a butcher stable or something like that. Probably. Poor mod. Yeah, no shit. Needs. Yep, that's not going to change much in the near future, I don't think so. Can we do anything about Joy? I guess we can. Chess table that requires 70 steel. A simple ancient game played with a few horseshoes and a large pin in the ground. Alright, that's only 15 still. So I guess we can install that somewhere. Somewhere outdoors, I assume. Sure, why not? If he's going to help, then alright. And let's do some more mining. Come on, people. Get to work. Also, what about the stove? Let's have a look. We can cook some meals. Okay, that's a lot of things to change. Allow rotten. I don't think we should be cooking rotten meat or anything like that. I'll go with a no. Animal products. Vegetarian, all right. Take to best stockpile, well, obviously. Okay, 10 times, fine. So there's our research bench. And what do we want to research first? I have no idea what's the most important research here. Probably some defenses. Which is what, exactly? Oh, I can't actually research gun turrets. Okay, we need some other tech first. This one. Okay, then. This unlocks the high-tech research bench, comms console, and other research projects, like tube televisions and crypto sleep caskets. Alright. What else can we do? Only 300. Stone cutting. Build stone cutting tables which allow you to refine rock chunks into stone blocks that can be used for construction. Well, that might be useful and that's only 300. Let's grab that because that's the cheapest and then we'll probably get the gun turrets. Alright. We should cut that tree inside. <laughs> yeah, and maybe the cactus. As much as I like the idea of having a cactus in the bedroom, we should probably get rid of that. Poor mod. Yeah, we know that. Can't do much about it right now. Yeah, can't do much about that. And looks like that's all the steel gone. There is some more over here from the looks of it. Alright then. We'll grab all of that. That's almost 800 now. Yeah, poor mod pretty much constantly. Let's have a look again. What can we do about this? Not a lot, I don't think so. Observe the corpse. Maybe we should get rid of the corpses. I'm not sure if we have enough time for that, but alright. Let's get rid of the corpses. We can get a few graves in advance. I guess it won't hurt. There, so... Bury all of them. Hurry up before they rot. Hey, come back here. Really? Yeah, you people need to take care of the corpses first. You can mine later. Alright, I assume this will help the mod. At least it should. Hopefully.
Wait, is the stove connected to electricity? It is, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Someone needs to go and cook. Yeah, everyone is mining. That's not necessarily what I want. It might be time to play around with work priorities. Is everyone assigned to mining? Where's mining? Right here. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think that's really necessary. No, it's not. And what about cooking? Who's the best cook we got anyway? Yeah, it's just Big Red assigned to cooking. We got two people with some passion for cooking. We don't have a lot to cook, actually, so that's a bit of a problem. We can cut some plants. Or harvest, I mean. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Seems reasonable. There aren't a lot down here, unfortunately. I think we'll need a butcher's table. And hunt some animals. Looks like it. And what about the research? Someone needs to do the research. Research. Yeah, we got two people who can do it. I guess I'll have to do all these priorities manually. At some point. They don't seem to be very good at prioritizing otherwise. I thought it would be a little bit smarter. We can just tell someone manually to do research, right? Let's say Nico. No, cannot prioritize. Research is a long-term task. All right. Well then, how about you go do it? Okay, playing horseshoes. That will help their mood. And we can cook some berries, I assume. Yep, we can. All right, good. We got some food. We won't starve to death. Always nice to see. At least we won't starve to death just yet. This food storage is probably a bit of an overkill, but at least we'll have a lot of storage for the future. No one is doing any research, still. Alright, well, let's just do this manually. Who is the best researcher? Let's see, Nico and Big Red. Who has higher research skill? Research, 6 and 6. Okay, they are both at 6. Who has fewer useful skills? Probably Nico. Yeah, he does have fewer useful skills. He's okay at mining, but so are a few other people. So that means we can prioritize research on him. Let's say two. What else is he good at? Let's have a look. Animals, that's taming, basically growing. Okay, so research and growing, let's say. That seems reasonable. We're not really growing a whole lot, just potatoes, but... Where's that? Repair, construct... I'm not seeing it. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, right here, grow. So, good enough. And we can set firefight to one. Probably for everyone, because, you know, if we get a fire, prioritizing that would be a good idea. Terrible mod. Yeah. Well. Oh, these colonists are critically stressed and may have a hard and potentially violent mental break at any moment. Well, that's certainly not good. That's a lot of negative modifiers. Eight raw food, that's not great. Ugly environment, in a little pain. Can we do something about that? Like use the medical bed or something? Not injured. 
Okay, I don't think we can do anything about that then. Doesn't seem like it. So this might be a bit of a problem. 26%. Extreme break threshold, 28%. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. I have a bad feeling about that. Yep, it's happening, I think. Something is happening. Yep. Laland has gone berserk. Well then. Because of crappy clothes, really? That's a pretty crappy reason to go berserk, but alright. And what's going on here? We have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Okay, that sounds promising. Oh, some meat. That is definitely useful, yes. We will grab that. It's a little bit far away, but that's just a good reason to bring it to our food storage. Oh yeah, actually, this won't do much because he's incapable of being violent, right? Or was that someone else? No, that was someone else. Who was it? We had someone who's incapable of violence. Nico? Yeah, that was Nico. Okay, never mind. I thought that was Blaland. He's not really doing anything right now, fortunately. I'm not sure how long this is going to last. Eclipse. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and eclipse has begun. So that means our solar generator won't be very useful for a while. We do have batteries, but I don't know how long the eclipse is going to be. Covering. Well, I have no idea how long this is going to last. Whole day? No idea. Yep. Is this like a progress bar or something, or is that health? I think that's health. Doesn't look very good. Blood loss, but trivial right now. Well, everyone is covering, which is not great. We're doing some research. At least there's that. I wonder how much longer we're going to last here. I guess we'll find out. Especially with this eclipse. We might run out of power for the cooler. And our food might spoil. I hope it won't be that long. Because that would be pretty crappy. Needs... Aggressive thoughts. Yeah, but seriously, innocent prisoner died. That guy wasn't innocent. He attacked us. I guess I have a very different definition of what innocent means. But whatever. At least everyone is sleeping now, but he's still a berserk. Mental state. Is this actually going to change? Oh, on edge. Okay. That's a little bit better. Urgently hungry. Well, go eat then. In a moderate amount of pain, tired. In darkness. So can we make better clothes? No idea, maybe. Let's see, production. Yeah, I suppose we can. Hand tailoring bench. We don't really have enough space for that. We can place it in here, I suppose. Or in here. Well, that will have to do, for now. We don't have time to build more buildings. What is he at right now? 41%, not great. Not sure if I can do anything about the pain. Doesn't seem like it. We can euthanize him. <laughs> How about now? Best quality medical care. Well, it was already set to best quality medical care, so I don't know. I don't think we can actually do anything here. That is a lot of bites. Probably not a good thing. Medium pain. 19%. Alright, well, we can make better clothes, and that's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. And we can build more tables, I suppose. Let's do that.
furniture. I guess everyone should have a table. Probably, yeah. Like so. Okay, everyone will have a table. And a stall or dining chair. Sounds good. Like so. That should be enough. How's our research? We're getting there. Would be nice to not die just yet. What's the status of our potatoes? Oh yeah, 0% because, yeah. They need light. 50%. Alright. Well, blame the solar eclipse. It's not like I can do anything about that. We can ask nicely, but it's likely not going to work. If I had to guess. Right, so what about the butcher's table? We need another room of some description. Some more steel walls down here. Seems reasonable. This is going to be our room for the butcher table, I guess. Like so. And we can also play something else. What else can we get here? Sculptor's table. Crafting spot. Simple things like sheaves or bows, alright? Will we get a new crafting station once our research is done? I assume so. Well, I'm looking forward to discovering all these things, but... This game is pretty confusing when you first start playing it. There's no way around that. It really is. But I'm being told it gets much better once you get past the initial learning curve. Okay, what is he actually good at? Shooting? Yeah, he's not good at a whole lot. I guess he can do some mining. But other than that... Yeah. Well, I could send him to do some hunting. That's not a terrible idea, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's do that. Set it to two. And we can go kill a ram or something. If he's actually going to do it. Yeah, he's playing horseshoes. But we should kill an animal or two. Since we are going to build a butcher's table anyway. That's really bad shooting, I'm just saying. The eclipse has ended. Wasn't that bad then. We still had some power, so yeah, it could have been much worse. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.